This video is sponsored by Wondershare. If you're switching from iOS to Android or Android to iOS, it's always a pain in the neck to transfer existing files and data from one to the other. Because these two are different operating systems, they just don't work seamlessly together. And while there are several ways you can backup and restore your files, for the most part, it involves a lot of googling and asking the internet. Unfortunately, I met this kind of problem as I recently switched to the iPhone 12 mini to test out for review. While I did get the apps that I wanted, my existing media files, messages, and contacts are stuck on my 2-year-old Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now, this is where Wondershare's Dr. Phone phone transfer came in handy for me. The name Wondershare might be not new to some of you. If by any chance you have been tasked to create a school project that involves producing a video, you probably try their simple video editor software Filmora. Wondershare, however, is also known for its various easy-to-use apps that promote convenience for users. But this time, we're checking out one of their mobile solutions that work both for Android devices and iPhones. Dr. Phone is a mobile toolkit that comprises several useful services from data recovery to backup and even removing lock screen and iCloud ID. But what I'm about to share with you is how to transfer files and data between Android and iOS devices using phone transfer. What you basically need is a computer, your Android device and a cable that will connect to the computer, and your iOS device with a cable that will also connect to the computer. Once you have everything you need, Plug in both devices and make sure that they are recognized by the computer. But before we proceed, we need to disable two features on your iPhone and activate USB debugging for your Android device. On your iPhone, we need to disable Find My iPhone and Messages iCloud Backup. Here's how to disable the two. Go to Settings, tap on Your Name, choose Find My and turn off Find My iPhone. For the messages, Choose iCloud and toggle off messages. As for the Android device, we need to enable USB debugging mode by activating developer options. The way developer options is enabled varies per device. What I have here is a Samsung phone and here are the steps. Go to settings, choose about phone, tap on software information, and tap build number multiple times until it prompts. Once you get the confirmation, go back to settings and you'll see developer options at the bottom part of the page. Tap on it and enable USB debugging. At this point, you may need to plug in the cable of your Android device to recognize the changes. The next thing to do now is to download Dr. Phone Transfer from the website and install it on your computer. The installation process is easy and should be painless if you follow the steps carefully. Once installed, open Dr. Phone and choose Phone Transfer. All you need to do is to wait for the software to recognize both devices. As you can see here, my Galaxy Note 9 and iPhone are connected. The connected device on the left is the source device, which means that's where you will copy data from, while the device on the right side is the receiving device. To choose which data to transfer, just put a check mark on the boxes. In my case, I need to transfer my text, messages, photos, and videos. After that, I just hit transfer and wait for it to be completed. Once completed, your iPhone may restart automatically for the changes to occur. Right now, my iPhone doesn't have any messages nor photos. After the transfer, as you can see, I now have all my photos, text messages, and videos.
if you need to transfer your data vice versa, simply tap on flip. This time, the Galaxy Note 9 is the receiving device and the iPhone is the sending device. So that's how you transfer files from Android to iOS and vice versa using Dr. Phone. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let them know in the comments. Until the next one, stay safe.